<sighs> Peter Okoye suffered. Well, after Peter Okoye revealed the dark secret about himself and his twin brother Paul Okoye, now he decided to expose and talk about the EFCC matter, the money aspect. Well, without further ado, let's jump right into it. And uh, just in case you missed the other video where we discussed about the open letter to Paul Okoye, go and check out Adam Sling Media. You will see the video over there. But this one is about, this one is said, according to the title, it said, I never attempt or tried to use the EFCC to arrest my twin brother, Paul. But he never said he never attempted to use the EFCC to arrest Jude Okoye. Well, let's continue. According to him, he said, before I tell you the whole story, here is what I need you all to understand. It's always surprising to me when people say, Peace Square is always bringing their family matter into the public eyes. Let me clarify this. Peace Square is not just a family. It's a public brand. But Peter, Paul, Anita, Ifoma, Lola, and the rest of our family member are family. But Peace Square is an entity that belongs to the public as much as it does belong to us. Our fans have played a significant role in our success. So they have the right to know what's happening with their love, with their beloved brand P Square. That's why it's understandably where certain aspects of our lives are shared publicly. Thank you very much, Peter Okoye, for bringing that out, for clarifying that to that P Square, no be family matter. P Square is a public matter because we contributed one or two cent in their success. We contributed wholeheartedly. We came together to contribute to their success. So Peace Square is a family business and we are part of that family as Peace Square. But their own personal family, eh, that's their own family business. But when it comes to Peace Square, it is our business. Thank you for clarifying that, uh, Peter Koye. So let me continue. He said, now, let's get straight to the point. I went to make it clear that I never reported my twin brother Paul to the EFCC. I know many of you were disappointed when Paul accused me of doing so. He mentioned that I wrote a petition against him, which he claimed made the EFCC ask him to provide a shorty. This statement suggests that he was detained, which is not true. Peter, Paul, and Jude own a management company together called North Side Entertainment, which we use to manage all of Peace Square Affairs. One day, I discovered another company with a similar name, but this one was called North Side Music instead of North Side Entertainment. This surprised me, so I decided to investigate further and guess what? To my shock, the, the founders and director of this secret company we are none other than Jude Okoye and his wife, Informa Okoye. And the registered address was the family, was the family home of Jude's wife. Still, it shocks. I knew and I had to talk to Paul about it. I approached him multiple times, at least four different times, asking him if he knew anything about this secret company and the whereabout of some Peace Quest royalties. Each time I meet with him, he denied knowing anything about it. I want to set the record straight. I hereby challenge Paul or anyone else to show any petition that I, Peter Okoye, ever submitted against my twin brother Paul or that has Paul's name on it. You know, say Paul come outside there, rude boy say, hey, brother, carry and go EFCC, write a petition against him. So Peter Okoye called to say, if there is any petition, with your name on it, Paul Okoye, let me know. Because Peter said there was never any petition submitted with Paul Okoye's name. But he said he submitted petition against Jude. Jude. So let me continue, guys. He also said, I'm still writing this with so much shock because I gave clear instruction to my legal team. 
with a standing order that under no circumstances should Paul be included in my petition. Their focus was to remain solely on the primary suspect, Judo Koye, and his wife, Informa Okoye, since they were the directors of the secret company, Northside Music. Well, is it that Paul indirectly they are among that company and you know one may Peter Okoye know? Why are you guys doing all crazy stuff be behind Peter Oskoye back? Come on, man. That is unfair now. Paul's recent interview about the EFCC in incident contained a lot of lies. I watched and listened to Paul's interview. I was totally speechless and I kept asking myself, how does Paul have the audacity to publicly tell lies like this? Even with a respected and reputable agency like, like the EFCC. He claimed I petitioned him, but there, that's not something that ever happened to Paul. The truth is, this was something that actually happened to Jude. The real story goes back to the shocking discovery I made. But what really got me very upset was finding out that for years, Millions of dollars and hundreds of millions of nairas were being secretly divided into this secret company account, Northside Music, from our own company, Northside Entertainment. This was not just a minor issue. It was a massive betray that had been going on for several years. Come on, man. You know, we are blood. We are family. But... Once you start cheating, remove blood aside. Family do not cheat. Family do not scan, do not steal from each other. Family stay strong. Share each, share each money equally according to percentage. If this is true, come on, man. Then he also said, I understand that Paul is angry because I took this matter to EFCC. And I understand why. However, bear in mind that I have met Paul and Jude separately and tried to discuss this matter, and it yielded me with no positive answer. In fact, the last time I approached Paul, the conversation got heated up and he said, and I quote, Peter, go and do your worst. At this stage, I was left with no other choice but to report to the authorities and take legal actions. Jude was then detained after being questioned. He came clean and admitted he had been diverting millions of dollars of our money to this secret company that he and his wife were the director of. All of Jude's bank account were immediately frozen. He was eventually released on bail after he managed to provide a shorty and meet the other bail condition. Meanwhile, further investigations are still going on up until now. Paul's name was never mentioned in the petition because he was never a director of this secret company. Unless there is something he is hiding from all of us. Paul was, was only invited to questioning just like John C. Ukoku of Iroko TV and Maju Pitnik and other who had transactional dealings with Northside Music. The EFCC investigation found out that Northside Music has been secretly collecting P Square royalty over the years. The years this royalty money was sent to a to a bureau the change, then transferred to Jude's personal bank account. A closer look at Jude's account statement revealed that once the money entered his personal account, there were multiple transactions where he was splitting the phone equally with Paul, without Peter. This naturally led to some questions. After Jude confessed, confessed to diverting the phone, he also told the EFCC that the money he had been sending to Paul for several years wasn't about sharing money behind Peter's back. Instead, it was money he owned Paul for the sales of his house in America, which he was gradually paying back the loan. This is the reason why Paul has been telling everyone that EFCC have cleared him as if I ever wanted him to get into trouble with the EFCC. This story is very long, 
but I will tell it all in due time. For now, I will stop here until EFCC send the final report to my legal team. Once that happens before heading to the law court, I will make the exact petition that doesn't include Paul's name public. I will also release the EFCC final report. Receive another document related to this secret company, including the CAC registration, bank transaction, and the bank statement that you set up with his wife, Informa. May God help us all. Where this matter they go, eh? It be like say one person will die for this Paul and Peter or Koye matter. Because when it comes to money, that really means that there are millions of money. If somebody, if somebody can be greedy enough to steal from his brother, he can be greedy enough to kill his brother. Yes. Yes. He can be greedy enough to kill his brother. I just pray this one doesn't lead to someone's death. Because the problem here is Jude. Jude is the problem of Peace Square. You made Peace Square and you want to ruin Peace Square with your own hands. Ah, now wow, senior brother making no gain sense. Kai, you made Peace Square and you want to ruin Peace Square with your own hands. Ha, ah, senior brother me know the reason well. Greed of man. This greed of man. I just pray it's not the least to someone's death. That's all. Thank you guys for watching. It's a boy again. I don't sleep. Catch you next time. Peace.